In this video, we'll be looking into um, middlewares in Node.js and what actually middlewares um, do. Um, so, let me give you um, a bit of introduction to middlewares. So, middlewares you can uh, assume like something um, happening in the middle. So, I mean, they derive the name similar to that because something is happen happening in the middle, and that's uh, up to the user. Like, we want we want like some module to be uh, triggered in the middle of some. Uh, some a function or some root you can say if uh, in node.js and uh, so that's what middleware is so what uh, actually it does is that before hitting the root i'm talking in the case of node.js so before hitting the root um we can trigger some function in order to modify the request and response object so that uh, we can add something to the request objects which we can use um, in the root so for example uh, if you have seen my previous authentication videos then you might have uh, seen i would ha have used uh, middleways there and like the, we will have, we'll be attaching the user object to the request object and we'll be using the request dot user in in the routes so we'll be doing a similar thing today uh, a very similar one but i will just um i'll just explain you how to write an actual middleware a uh, very very simple one but um, you can expand that if you want so um yeah that's what middlewares are so why do we even need middlewares so the reason we need middlewares are that um we need something i mean we need to uh, process something before hitting the root so for example we are hitting some protected route where uh, the user has to be logged in then we can assume that we the user needs or you can say the request object needs the user object so we need to have the request dot user in order to um, use that login users information so to do that we need to make use of this middleware in order to like create um, the user object and attach it to the request object so if we do that then we um, we might be sure that the user is logged in so we won't attach that i mean we will be attaching that manually but we will only attach the user object to the request object when uh, the user clicks the log login button with um, the exact username and password or email and password i mean with you can select the credit, correct uh, credentials so only then we will attach the user to the request object you could say so okay so let me um so i have created a folder here so this is an empty folder right now so i will just do npm in it so what you're going to do is we are going to quickly um install express so that i can show you how to write a very very basic um uh, middleware in node.js so um, what I, what I want is I want to see how the middleware works in Node.js. So let's create the index.js, and I'll just create out the with the boilerplate. So I'll just require Express, and I'll just create an app instance of Express, and I'll just make this to run in the port at five thousand one maybe and uh, let's listen to that port and just console.log that on uh, the server is running at or you can say server at the port and uh, now what i want to do is i want to have a root let's say app dot get slash user so we'll have the request and response now what i want to do is i want to send um i would say rest.json the request.user and just return this so what i'm doing is i'm uh, when whenever the i mean this route the purpose of this route is um I'm, i want to mimic or i want to return the current logged in user so right now i'm, I'm returning i'm just returning the request.user so um let's try to run this I'll just do node index.js and let me open chrome so slash user root is not giving anything because um we haven't we don't have the user uh, object attached to the request object yet so we can do one thing like we can go here and what i want to do is let's see um i want the user to be logged in so what i want to do is i want to run a middleware to uh, do this so middleware is you can think of it as a function running before we hit this root function so for example let's create a function here so let's say function middleware one 
and usually middleware um, it has three um, parameters or arguments resident request and response similar to the roots and it has an additional next parameter will let you i'll tell you what that is for so let's console.log uh, let's say let's say inside middleware one function and how do you use this function we use this function by uh, just putting it before this request and response callback we just call the middle put that uh, function here that's it so let's click the screen here and run this again so now it's not printing anything but if you go and refresh this uh it's saying inside middleware but you can see that this is still loading it's not giving us a response yet it's still waiting for the server to get back give a response back so that's what this next is for so uh, right now we are calling this middleware here so it, it has a next uh, function uh, but we are not calling that because we are not calling that it's not moving to the next callback here it's just stuck into this in this function it's not moving to this callback so in order to move from this to this we have to call the next here next function here so this tells us that okay it's everything is done and you can just move on to the next middleware so again i'll just run this no index switches and reload this you can see we have got the response and the inside middleware is also printing so we we can have multiple middlewares as well so let's create a similar middleware let's say middleware 2 and similarly we have this request response in next and uh, let me just just copy this and paste this and instead of one i'll just say inside middleware 2 so similar to this you can just attach it before or after middleware 1 so i just want to run this after middleware 1 so we'll just call that thing and refresh this again so let's say we are getting the inside middleware 1 and inside middleware 2 function calls so that's how middleware works usually so now what i want to do is i don't want to have two middlewares i just want to have one so i'll just say i'll just call this let me remove this actually so i'll call, create a function this is actually middleware let's say auth and this also takes three arguments which you've seen before and now what i want to do is let me have a fake user here so this fake user is an object with some properties let's say name is my name or no and uh, my place is is that and um, let's say hobby is going to be reading so this is the fake user here and what i want to do is i want to attach that to the now we have the request to the request i mean the, the access to the request object so what we can do is we can modify this request to object by adding something we want so we can just say request dot user is equals to fake user and just call the next function because we can just move on to the next function so what do you think will happen now because we are we are um, we are we now have the requested user and we are sending that as a response so instead of white blank page we should receive the object back let's try that um okay okay we have to change we have to change the middleware so let's delete all the middlewares and just call the auth middleware and let's run this and if we reload this you can see we have an object coming back which is a exact user object let me zoom this in which is the exact uh, user object name place and hobby and now um you can see that we are um, returning the fake user so uh, instead of i mean right now we are having this fake user but um in production grade applications usually what we'll be having is some db call to um we'll just uh, let me just do that like let me just tell you what will happen um, on production so they will they will validate the email and password so they will be checking if it matches it um, in the in the database and if it does if it does match which means the email and password is correct the user is valid then they will pull the user from the db they'll just pull the user from the db and attach that to request dot user is equals to the user pulled from db but we have to also be careful to attach some uh, not attach sensitive um, fields like if there is some bank account number and the balance in the bank account we should not attach that to um, this user object because this is a 
what we are sending back or this is what we'll be using throughout the route so whatever is not needed we won't be pulling that from db uh, because we have to be careful about security of the user so yeah that's it um that's how middleways work in node.js and yeah this is what i wanted to show you as well so yeah thank you for watching and do share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you